Gregory in Miami Beach, Florida writes to me and he says, Hey Paul, I know you have spoken about interconnects and the benefits of braiding the wires to reduce noise and interaction. Does the same apply for power cables? Will a three wire power cable benefit from this technique? Uh, and will adding braided shielding also be a benefit? I recently based on your advice, upgraded my cables and have seen a great improvement in performance. So thank you for the great content and information in your videos. Wow, thank you, sir. Uh, yes, the idea of braiding is a really good one. And speaking of power cables, I, I'm back here. This is behind the big Infinity IRS-5s. This is sort of the sausage factory back here. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. These are the new six um, BHK 600s that we are, they're still prototypes. Oof, God, they sound great. Anyway, <laughs> here I go. Um, notice the cable. Notice the construction on it. See how this is? It's a three wire braid. These are the AudioQuest Dragons, which in my opinion are so far to my ear, the best power cable I have ever heard. They're stupid expensive. I mean, yeah, they're just stupid expensive. There's nothing more you can say. And I don't know anything more than I just wouldn't run this system without it once, once I heard them. They, they make a huge difference. So let's talk for a second about why braiding an audio cable or a power cable. Look, I know. The hairs in the back of thousands of people's necks are going up in the light because I'm saying that power cables have a sound to them. Okay, so can you just put that aside for one moment and let's just talk about, we'll talk about audio cables. Years ago, my good friend Ray Kimber started a company called Kimber Cable and it was based completely on the braiding of cables. Ray had built his own, I think it was a four or five wire braid braiding machine and he, and he still to this day he braids his cables. So why would we want to braid a cable? Well first off when you have two wires together in a long, you know, well it doesn't matter if it's long, but when two wires in, are running in parallel, the longer they run in parallel the more inductance is created in the cable construction. Okay, now inductance means that we lose high frequencies. At, they start rolling off. It's acting like a filter that's adding, what's a good way to put it? It's, it's adding resistance that is specific to frequency. So as the frequency goes up, so too does the resistance. And in an inductor, we use all the time in, say, a speaker, um, speaker crossover. So we use inductors, and those are big coils of wire. And we do that to roll off the top end of something. So for instance, in a mid-range driver, we would put an inductor to form a low-pass filter so that the mid-range doesn't go too high. And that's because of that inductance. Now, that's purposeful inductance. We, we did that on purpose. We would prefer not to have inductance in our cables, whether they be power cables, or audio cables. We'd like not to have it. But runs of wire and, and every XLR cable you've ever seen, every RCA cable, they are long runs of parallel conductors sitting close to each other. So now imagine a braided cable. What do we have? They're going like this. They're at kind of like right angles to each other, right? Boom, boom, boom. So the point that they are in parallel is only right here at the little cross. So when you braid cables, you almost entirely eliminate the inductance of the cable and it really does make a good difference in the way it sounds. Is it the perfect way to do it? No, I mean, we're using interconnects here that are not braided. So <laughs> six of one, half dozen of another, pick picks your poison and choose which one you want. But because we've talked about this before, we pick our cables based on the synergy of the electronics and the speakers and how we do it by ear. And that's a whole other topic. We're not getting into that today, but that's the idea behind braiding, 
how it works and why it works. And yes, it works on power cables. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye.